Best teams in the NFL, Week 10 NFL Power Rankings, baby. We made it to Week 10, bro. It's been insane. We got a fire Thursday night game coming up, the Bengals and the Ravens. Be sure to check out my video on Thursday when I give y'all my picks for this week. First up, Arizona Cardinals, bro. Five and four, bro. Five and four. That's a good team to me. Um, I don't know, though. I think they're frauds, bro. I think they're frauds. Um, they're going to be okay, you know. Like, they're going to be a good team, but, like, they're not making the playoffs, bro. They're frauds. They have five wins um, in a bad division right now. Everybody's kind of botched up. But that division is going to come down to the Rams and the Niners, if I'm going to be honest. The Falcons, their division is absolutely bad, bro. Like, absolutely terrible. That division sucks. Uh, the Bucks could be good. They're too injured. The Falcons are 4-0 in the division. They're up about two and a half games in that division. So, yeah, it's not looking good for the rest of them. I think they easily win that division, and that makes them a playoff lock. I am going to skip a few teams right here to give y'all the biggest fraudulent team in the freaking NFL, the National Football League. It's going to be the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears are the biggest fraud team. Caleb Williams thinks that running around in the backfield is going to save him. No, bro, this is not college, bro. This is not USC. This is not Pac-12 football, brother. This is not Pac-12 football. This is the NFL. It's the NFL. So he over here running around, throwing picks, and getting sacked left and right. Like, you can blame the old line, but, bro, they're giving him enough time. You have great receivers. You got a solid running back and a good tight end. So you need to figure it out, bro, because watching the Bears play is actually pissing me off a little bit. But, yeah, the Cardinals did beat the Bears, so they just further show me that they're frauds. But Super Bowl contender got the Ravens. Yeah, they lost to the Browns a couple weeks ago. It happens. It happens, you know? It happens. They should be 9-0, if I'm going to be honest. But it happens. Um, Lamar Jackson, MVP. Derrick Henry, MVP. Both could be Offensive Player of the Year. The defense looks good. They just made a trade for Tredavious White today. Yep, 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 Tredavious White. So I think that's a solid trade, bro. Like, he didn't play well for the Rams at all. He was holding all the time. But I feel like he could play well for the Ravens with a, a, a better structured defense, maybe. Um, and I think that'd be cool. The Bills also belong in Super Bowl contenders. I really only have three Super Bowl contenders coming out of the AFC and a couple in the NFC for real. Uh, but yeah, the Buffalo Bills looking like a great team, tough team to beat right now. Amari Cooper is going to be playing more. He didn't play last week and they still beat the Dolphins. Um, so yeah, they're looking good. Uh, yeah, the Panthers, bro, that's a poverty team, man. Like, that's a poverty franchise, if I'm going to be honest. Um... Shout out Bryce Young for getting the Saints coach fired, but other than that, it's just not looking good for the Panthers anytime soon. Like, I don't know what they're going to do, if I'm going to be honest. Like, they're kind of just cooked. The Bengals, fraud watch, bro. Like, the Bengals are 4-5. and five. They play the Ravens this week. They got some tough games coming up, and it's like, could they win these games? Yes, they're very winnable games, for sure. They're very winnable games, but like, I don't know, bro. They're going to have to get to, like, 10-7 and seven to make the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, they got to go, what, 6-2 and two these next eight games? And I don't know if they got that in them. Uh, the Bears, I mean, the Browns, bad team. Uh, poverty franchise, no championships. Jameis Winston, just starting quarterback. He's throwing, like, 100 career picks. Pretty insane. Uh, the Cowboys, that's a bad team right now, brother. Even with Dak Prescott playing quarterback, that's a bad team. Um, I don't see them doing anything this year. I think their season's over. It's time for them to uh, tank for Ashton Genty out of Boise State, the running back, probably the best running back in the country, maybe the Heisman. If you guys uh, follow and watch college sports, Ashton Genty's a demon. Yes, he is. Uh, but, yeah, I just don't think they got it. The Broncos, I think that's a fraudulent team right there. Um, Bo Nix looked confident in that uh, offense, but I don't see them making the playoffs, bro. I think the Chargers are a better football team than them. Uh, but we'll see, bro. We'll see. Shout out to Bo Nix for, you know, getting them to five and four at, at anyway. Like, that's pretty impressive. The Lions, Super Bowl contender, looking like the best team in the NFC. The team to beat in the NFC. Lost in the NFC Championship last year. Coming back this season with a vengeance. And Jared Goff just doesn't have to turn the ball over, and he's going to be fine. Because, like, you give the ball to David Montgomery, he runs people over, and then, damn, I got to deal with Freaking Jameer Gibbs who's going to juke everybody once we're all tired and go for six. So it's a tough. They got a great one-two punch over there. So it's going to be tough for them to, you know, really do a whole lot. The Packers. Fraud. 
Hurts. He's the second biggest frauds in the NFL. Um, can they make the playoffs? Yeah, and do good things? Of course. The Packers have all the talent in the world to do good things, but it relies on their quarterback, Jordan Love, and he just makes some of the dumbest mistakes ever. Like, you have Anthony Richardson level dumb, which is like up here, and then you have Jordan Love level dumb, and he's right below him because them boys be making some bad plays, brother. Some bad plays. Um, so, like, with this next team, the Houston Texans, I'm going to put them in playoff locks, but only for one reason, because I think they're frauds. I think they're frauds. Um, yeah, they're two weapons on the outside of Hurt. Um, I hope Nico Collins comes back and proves me wrong that they're not frauds. But, bro, like, they're in a terrible division. Everybody in their division sucks, like the Colts, the Jags, and the freaking Titans, bro. That's all three bad teams. And, like, that's all they have to play, and all they have to do is win that division. They could go 9-8 and eight and make the playoffs and be chilling and be a four seed. Um, but, like, they're just, they're just not good, bro. Like, C.J. Stroud without his receivers looks pedestrian, if I'm going to be honest. And maybe that's every quarterback when they don't have their top wide receivers. They look pedestrian. They can't throw the ball to anybody else. I understand. But I'll give them playoff lock just because they're going to win the division. Colts, it's a bad team. Um, I have a lot of high hopes for the Colts all the time because I feel like Anthony Richardson can be good. But Joe Flacco's your starting quarterback. I like their receiving core. I think they have the most underrated, like, four wide receivers um, receiving core. I think they're really underrated. Jonathan Taylor's underrated now after having that one crazy season a few years ago. Uh, but, yeah, Jags, poverty franchise. <laughs> Terrible team, bro. Um, the Eagles should have beat them by 30, but Nick Sirianni is one of the worst coaches in the NFL, so. They had they had a little hope at the end. But it is what it is. The Chiefs, I don't know how they're doing it, bro. I don't think y'all know how they're doing it. I don't know how they're doing it. They just win, bro. It's just, they just win, bro. Like, <laughs> they don't even look special when they're doing it, but somehow they find a way. Overtime got to change the rule. It's going to be funny, bro, because they're literally going to change the overtime rules because of Patrick Mahomes. He's going to change the game. Like, just him doing what he does, he's going to change the game. They're the same way they changed the hand checks and the swipe through an NBA because of James Harden. He changed the game. Like, you can't do that anymore because James Harden mastered it and exposed the rule of the game. So the Chiefs are going to, you know, they win in overtime all the time. So they're going to change the game and make it both teams get the ball. They already did it in the playoffs. They're going to do it in the regular season too, especially after tonight, bro. They're going to talk about it. It's probably going to be implemented next season. The Raiders! The Raiders! Poverty franchise, bro. Come on now. <laughs> Y'all knew better, bro. Y'all knew I wasn't going to give the Raiders no love. They're going to get Shadur, though. Or Cam Cam Ward, one of the two. Who knows? Am I glazing since I just did their celebrations? I could be. But who cares, man? It's just a stream, bro. It's just a stream. Lock of the day. I believe in the Chargers, man. I believe in the Los Angeles Chargers, bro. Justin Herbert looking like one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's throwing to Ladd McConkey, Andy Gump, Quentin Richardson, uh, LeBron James, he's throwing a bunch of randoms, bro. Like, we don't even know who their receivers are, bro. Josh Palmer, bro. <laughs> Arnold Palmer's son, bro. Like, <laughs> but yeah, bro, I believe in uh, Justin Herbert, bro. He looks good. J.K. Dobbins run the ball well. And the Chargers look like they got one of the best defenses in the league. The Jim Harbaugh effect. Shout out to Jim. Uh, yeah, shout out Michigan. Yeah, big, big, big Michigan. Um, okay. Based off the tiers that I have on this list, um, the Rams don't really fit into any of them. Because they're not a playoff lock, but I also don't think they're a fraud. And if fraud means anything else, it's like, I don't know about you yet. Um, they do play Miami this week. I'm going to the game, if y'all was curious type. You know, you guys want to pull up on me and tell you, you know, say what up. Because I'm going to be at the game and stuff. But, yeah. Play the Dolphins. Should be high power offense going head-to-head. -head. Monday Night Football. Yes, Sursky in L.A. SoFi Stadium. Can't get much better than that. But, yeah, I'm going to put the Rams right here. I like the Rams this year, though. I think they could win their division if the Niners keep acting like the Niners for real. Dolphins, it's a bad team. Two is back. Could have won last week. Could have won the week before, but two is 0-2 in his return. Um, I think the season's over for them and hope, you know, they can come back next season uh, better. Uh, but, yeah, they need to figure some things out. I don't know what's wrong with them. I feel like they have great talent on their team, but they just can't get it done. Uh, the Vikings, I've been hating on the Vikings for a while, and my comments been telling me that. I'll be seeing y'all, bro. I see y'all comments. Y'all talking about y'all love the Vikings and whatnot. I think the Vikings go in the playoffs. I think they're the second best team in their division. Um, yeah, I got faith in the Vikings for sure. I got faith in the Vikings. I think they're the second best team in their division. Uh, as long as Sam Darnold's not turning the ball over. He had a couple turnovers last game, and they still found a way to win. So that was good. Um, the team with the most, you know, rings, 
this Patriots poverty franchise. I think that's valid because, uh, yeah, Drake May looks like a young Josh Allen, but they lost to the Titans, and, you know, I wasn't jacking that. The Saints, poverty franchise. The Giants, poverty franchise. The Jets, bad team. I think the Jets could maybe win four in a row, bro. And if they do, they're going to start getting wild, and it's going to be some look at freaking Aaron Rodgers being Aaron Rodgers, whatever. But, yeah, uh, Jets are a bad team. The Giants and the Saints, it's just, I think the Giants are better than the Saints. Like, the Saints look like the worst team in the NFL right now. Lost to the Panthers, that's just embarrassing. Like, imagine. The Eagles, I would love to put the Eagles as a Super Bowl contender, but I'm not sure yet just because of our coach. So I'm going to put them as playoff lock. I think them and the Commanders battle out all season who's going to win the division. The other team will be the wild card. Uh, but, yeah, it's looking good. Same for the Steelers and the Ravens. They're going to battle all season. But one of the other teams is going to be wild card, and then it's going to be a good race at the end. Um, I can't wait for them to actually play each other. It should be a good game. Eagles play the Commanders next week on Thursday. And I think the Steelers-Ravens play in a few weeks. Uh, the Niners right now are frauds, bro. I can't cap. That's a fraudulent team. Um, so, uh, What's-his-face might come back soon, so that should be exciting. Uh, oh, boy, Christian McCaffrey. But, yeah, Ayuk out for the season. Just got Debo, Persall, and Juwan Jennings. I'm not sure. Seattle, bad team. Geno makes some terrible mistakes. JSN is a dog, though. Like, Jackson Smith and Jigba, he's a demon. And Jigba's in Paris. Yeah, do your homework. The Bucks, it's a bad team now, bro. I like the Bucks too. The Bucks should really be in playoff slash for frauds, but they're injured. So I can't really hold them to too much. But since they're all injured and everything, I got to put them in bad team. I'm sorry. Titans, poverty franchise. And the Commanders, bro, I think they're a Super Bowl contender, bro. I don't know what y'all think. I think they're a Super Bowl contender. I think they have a chance to do big things in this uh, playoffs. They just got Marshawn Lattimore, bro. They're making the moves that they need to make to win a Super Bowl. So I can't be mad at that, bro. But, yeah, this is my list. This is my power rankings. Not necessarily in order to be in order, but, like, top 10 teams and then, you know, you know, 10 to like 18 and then, you know, 18 to 32. All the buster ass teams. But yeah, that's my list, bro. Hope you guys like the video. Obviously, like, comment, and subscribe to all user type stuff. But yeah, bro, we're going to be back with another video on Thursday. So be sure to check that one out. And I'm out of here.